Hey guys, it is Vivids and welcome back to another video. So, in the background you'll be seeing me just doing some uh, Fremnik tasks because all I had to do was the Elite tasks and then I was able to get the C, I think it's the C Boots 4 um, out of obviously the 4. And that's all of the Fremnik tasks complete. Now yesterday I also completed all of the Desert tasks, obviously for the completion escape because um, one of the main uh, completion escape requirements uh, the completion, well, it includes the completion of every single task uh, diary in the game. So I'm, I'm trying to kind of tick off all of those tasks in game, so I don't have to do the tasks, obviously. But yesterday, like I said just before, I did all the desert tasks apart from one, and that one task is the Dominion Tower one. So that is going to be the most, the most painful task out of all the desert tasks. Uh, just simply being, well, just simply being because it's going to be, it's going to take so long because you've got to complete, like, everything in the Dominion Tower, um, and that, you know, complete, just kill some fruit, and it's, it's essentially getting the, uh, Dominion T4 marker, or the T, uh, T4 marker, and then planting that in the desert, so that's going to take a real long time, and I don't really want to speak about, um, these achievements too much in this video, because I'm got, I'm making a road to completion escape, you know, obviously series, and each episode I'm trying to get as much footage that, as much footage as I can um, for you guys to make those videos as you know as good as I can so it's not like you know 25 episodes of Road to Completion and every single episode is like me completing for example like just the Desert Tile set the next one's gonna be me, me completing the Mauritania set you know I'm trying to get as much stuff as I can um, combined in those videos for you guys to make those videos as good as possible but as you're seeing here, doing the very, very last task of the Fremenic Pro Province task set, and that was, you know, that's that's always good completing tasks. It's a good feeling, and you know, to never to never have to do those tasks, and it's fantastic. It took me a little while to figure out how to do the Rune Haster one. Uh, that was just Barbarian Smithing, but it turns out all I had to do was speak to Otto um, Smith a Rune Spear, and then speak back to Otto, and then Smith a Rune Haster, and that's all you had to do for the Barbarian Smithing one. So that was, you know, that was absolutely fantastic. I managed to do all the elite tasks. And now I'm moving on to the Mauritania task set, and that's going to be um, another pain because I've got to do the um, get all the characters to level f uh, 100. So you get have to get like 500% completion or something like that. Um, I can't I can't even remember what the mini game's called, but I'm sure you guys know which one I'm speaking about. But I want to digress uh, to the topic of last night's stream. Now, if you guys um, haven't, you know, if you guys don't really follow my streams or don't like watching streams, um, I'm just going to give you a kind of debrief of, you know, some of the events that went down last night. And the main one or the main highlight being that I managed to duo next with one of my good, one of my good friends, uh, good old Trent. Uh, or Trent JS114, or Mr. Harmonica Man, which people like to call him, because on stream, he'll, pull, he'll whip out his harmonica and uh, stun everyone with his amazing capabilities, amazing uh, and amazing abilities. Um, you know, he's fantastic on harmonica, which is absolutely great. Uh, but about a month ago, or th I, I don't think it's a month ago, it would have been about two or three weeks ago, I that was when Trent actually first stepped into the next room, and I was teaching how to next, obviously, with the shadow phase, the... Um, the shadow phase, what is it, the smoke phase, the ice phase, and the blood phase, I was teaching him all the special abilities that Nex has um, throughout those four phases, and then obviously the Zara's phase, which is the fifth phase, and, you know, it, it took a little while just to get used to, so we started with four or five man teams, and then we eventually got down to, like, um, mainly three and four men, and we're, you know, we're still trying to get comfortable with that, but last night on stream, I decided, you know, why not, um, try and duo Nex, now, I've never duoed Nex in my life before, as opposed, like, Apart from last night, spoiler alert. So, uh, if you guys want to see how we did it, we, we did a really, really horrible job of doing it. But the thing was, the reason we actually went to do it was because, for one, um, with our minimal next experience, I thought it'd be a massive, massive challenge. And two, we had so much support behind us, um, obviously, at the end of it. Because when we went into it, no one really thought we could do it. Uh, you know, with our really, really small amount of next experience, the chances of us completing um, the kill were very, very small. And I'm pretty sure 80 to 90% of people in the Twitch chat said we wouldn't even be able to kill it once. And once we killed it, you know, a lot of people said it was it was absolutely fantastic that we did it, and congratulations and all that good stuff. Um, now, for a lot of people, for a hot of for a hot of for a lot of high levels, um, soloing next and duoing next is an absolute piece of cake, and I understand that. Um, but I was just trying to get it 
in everyone's heads last night that, you know, we're not the best at PVM. Um, we're just trying to have fun on the game, and duoing next is hard for us, you know. Um, but I was really, really surprised with the amount of support we have on the stream last night. You know, everyone that showed up and everyone hit the follow button, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, to put it into perspective how, um, how enjoyable the stream was for me last night, we had, I started with 41 followers and I ended with 94 followers. So that's a massive increase in followers, 53 followers in a night, which is fantastic. And that's all thanks to you guys, as well as at the beginning of the night, I had 800 views um, on my Twitch channel, I guess. And at the end of the night, I had 1,400 views. So that's almost doubled in views in one night. And that's all thanks to you guys. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, and I really hope you guys are going to be uh, kind of tuning in for future streams because the future streams are just going to be as good, if not even better. Um, so that was absolutely fantastic. So I want to give a massive, massive shout out to every single one of you. And a special mention to DGX55555 as well. He was he was enjoying the stream so much that he was going to work. He was getting his mum to drop him off at work. And he was watching the Twitch app on his phone, in the car, on the way to work. Because I guess he, he was enjoying the stream that much. Um, so that really, you know, that really uh, made me super, super happy because I really, really appreciate everyone that watches and everyone that hits that follow button. So that's basically all I wanted to speak about in this video today, guys. Hopefully, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, let me know with a like and all that good stuff. And just comment, comment some stuff as well because I love the comments more than likes. Um, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video, guys.